I'm like a fall in line Democrat. You fall in line Democrat just yeah. no matter what. So you think no it's you think what. it's good the way that things have been going here in Minneapolis. The last I don't few think years. he's really done a great job yeah. as our governor. I mean, just look around. Yeah. Yeah. Are you open for a change? A change, yes, if the right candidate came along, yeah, yeah. and I, I haven't researched enough of the candidates to, like, make that decision. I like it. So you're open yeah. to change it, which is good. Yeah, I'm like, open we can't, to change. Yeah. So there's yeah. this guy, Dr. Scott Jensen, he's running, he's the Republican running against Tim Walls for governor, and his lieutenant governor candidate, this guy named Matt Burke. You should check out Scott Jensen and Matt Burke to see, see if it might be a better alternative to okay. Governor Tim Walls. Right. Yeah. My name is Matt Burke, by the way. I'm running nice for lieutenant you. governor. Okay. And I, I want you to research us and give us a chance, all right, I Christopher? Will. Okay. That's the job I want. I want to be driving the big lawnmower in Uptown where there's no grass. That'd be a sweet job. Uh, a couple of just quick politics questions. Who's the governor of Minnesota? Tim Walz. Uh, who's running against him in November? No I don't idea. know. Who's running against Tim Walls? Uh, Scott Jensen. Yeah, Scott and, Jensen uh, from, from Watertown. From Watertown. Yeah. Who's, who's the lieutenant governor of Minnesota? Don't remember oh, her name. Oh, Peggy, um, what's her last name? Who's, who's, who's the current lieutenant governor of uh, Minnesota? Is it Peggy? It's Peggy, yeah. Oh, yeah what's very her last good. name? That doesn't matter, but yeah, that's very good. Okay. You knew one of the names. Don't feel bad, nobody knows. <laughs> uh, what do you think the lieutenant governor does? Uh, lots of stuff. Yeah. What don't they do? Should be following uh, the governor, um, just following through on tasks, actually, you know. Put actually forth doing an something? Effort. Yeah, yeah put, put forth an effort. effort. Hey, put forth an effort. That's a good uh, idea. And who's running against Peggy Flanagan for lieutenant governor? Peggy Flanagan, yes. that's what it is. Yeah. Uh, also don't know. Who's running against uh, uh, the lieutenant governor? Who's running for lieutenant governor this year with Scott Jensen? Matt Burke. I'm talking to him right now. Okay. It's this guy named Matt Burke. Okay. Okay. You know anything about Matt Burke? Nope. Uh, I'll just tell you real quick. He grew up in St. Paul, uh, went to Harvard, played uh, played in the NFL for 15 years, won a Super Bowl. He's married. He's got eight kids. Great guy, and uh, I think he's uh, devilishly handsome. Beautiful. All right, that's it. What uh, What are you guys are doing you today? Mapper? I am Matt Burke. <laughs> what do you know about Matt Burke? Well, I know he's a stand-up guy. Um, he's a hometowner. Uh, went to Harvard. Uh, graduated from St. Paul High School. Um, Played center for the Vikings. Um, was it wasn't his fault that they didn't win the Super Bowl, right? <laughs> no. Right. No, but he Thank is a, but he is a Super Bowl champ with yeah. the Baltimore Ravens. Should should people so. vote for Scott Jensen in that in November? Absolutely. Yeah, awesome. Absolutely. Hey, hey, you heard it from Nate. I'm Codis. Codis. All right. Who's the governor of Minnesota? Some sucker. Some sucker. Uh, who's the lieutenant governor of Minnesota? I don't care about him. You don't care about. <laughs> you know who Matt Burke is? No. Nope. Never heard of him. Nope. We're at Lake Calhoun. It's not it Lake Calhoun. Lake whatever, formerly known as Lake Calhoun. What is the name of this of this of this <laughs> canoe? <laughs> uh, how do you say that? Uh, that? To me, that looks. I don't know any other way to say that except shitty. Uh, don't go in there for about 35, 45 minutes. Whew. Don't do it. No chance, bro. Viking fan at all? Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you like sure. the bikes? Okay. Yeah, I like them all. All right. Uh, who's the governor of Minnesota right now? Uh, Tim Walls. Okay. Uh, who's the lieutenant governor? Peggy Flanagan. Very good. Yeah, very good. Very You're good. the first person we've asked today that has known that. What does the lieutenant governor do? Well, she's kind of like a vice governor. Vice governor. Yeah, she, she's probably helps out with uh, a lot of stuff and yeah. has her own jurisdiction, too. That's right. All right. And uh, who's running against Tim Walls in November? Oh, it's the... Uh, this is for five points, Tom. <laughs> oh, you're killing me. I know who it is, but I, I, I just can't... His see. name is Dr. Scott Jensen. Scott Jensen. Scott yeah. Jensen. Okay. Uh, and who's his lieutenant governor candidate? I don't know. Okay, it's Matt Burke. Matt Burke. Yeah, Matt, do you know anything about Matt oh, Burke? Oh, yeah, the, uh, the the Vikings player. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What Very articulate. Very articulate. Good-looking guy? Not as good so, looking as you, but it's good looking. Oh, thank you. Yeah, not as good looking saying. as me, obviously. Thank you. <laughs> Tom, I appreciate it. My name is uh, Matt Burke, and I'm running for lieutenant governor with Dr. Scott Jensen in November. And if Tim Walls and Peggy Flanagan are not your folks, then uh, Scott Jensen and I, we are your folks, okay? Are you Matt Burke? I am Matt Burke. <laughs> huh? I, I, that just blows my mind. 
Where are you from? Are you from Minneapolis? Yeah, yeah, grew up yeah, St. Louis Park. Well, good luck. I'm to from St. Paul. So yeah. I get a little nervous over in Minneapolis. I feel like you I feel like Minneapolis people feel like you're better than us people in St. Paul. That's always been the rub. But anyway, <laughs> I um put your phones down, people. You're outside. Enjoy the day. All right, so we've been all over Minneapolis here, and uh, not many people know who Peggy Flanagan is. Not many people know who I am, and not many people don't like pineapple on their pizza. So let's see if it's a different story over in St. Paul. Come on.